at around 7:30 on the morning of 8th of June uh, we heard some gunshots from general area POC uh, this increased in intensity i immediately asked my officers and men to go to their workstations and uh, say around 9 9:30 we started getting uh, casualties in batches of 4 to 5 they all arrived here in ambulance vehicles or pickup vans and at this moment i can say that uh, we have more than 600 peacekeepers and uh, more than 30 APCs ready providing security 24/7 to the PSC site. Uh, since August the situation is tense and uh, at the end of the day you manage to keep um, a good security situation to keep peace. Sometimes it's not possible to control everything, but uh, we need to highlight that uh, the presence of the the enemies here in Malakal helped a lot. Our engagement with the government was essential because the government has always responded to our call for action by uh, one respecting the fact that uh, the POC remains under our jurisdiction, UNMIS jurisdiction. So by providing uh, forces where we need it in support of our force, but still preserving what is our mantra, preserving the peace, trying to act. Uh, ensuring that the communities are not suffering more than they have already suffered. This has been a very uh, complicated exercise uh, for everybody in the UNMIS. Uh, it's a very, it's an extremely difficult uh, situation for the IDPs, especially for the IDPs. Um, but uh, that said. Um, it uh, when it comes to the engagement uh, and the cooperation between the force the personnel on ground and on pole uh, luckily we were very well prepared we had our plans in order For sure, we are reevaluating the situation every time because I think it's important for them that uh, to make them feel safe, to, to build a confidence that they say we can go back to our um, homes because UN is going to be there to provide the security. And once that is done, uh, I think uh, it's time to to provide the leaders the the. the the conditions for them to sit together and to try to come to uh, an agreement and to reconcile it's been a, a whole operation and uh, we are not uh, out of the woods yet but we hoping that uh, with the responsiveness with uh, the discussions the engagements people will also understand that in the long term uh, uh, as opposed to fighting um, uh, uh, bringing people together uh, the, that peace can only be achieved I, i'm talking about sustainable durable durable peace can only be achieved when you you talk to each other